Hi everyone, konnichiwa minasan. So today we are going to be making these adorable tomato buns. So these buns look like tomatoes and are filled with a margarita pizza filling, which is tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and basil. These taste so, so great. They're not even that difficult to make, and when you take these out of the oven, your whole house smells like you just made a pizza. These are amazing. So if you're a huge fan of pizza, these are perfect for you because they're kind of like the grab-and-go version of pizza. But before we get started, I actually have a request for you guys. So as you guys know, every week we always get together and make some edible cuteness. And honestly, I think that we're so, so lucky to do that because there's a lot of people in this world who don't even have access to clean water and food. And I personally think that it's really, really important to give back to those who don't have the opportunity to make cute things like tomato buns every week. So as you guys might know, I am a partner channel with Tastemade. And together, we are coming together with Action Against Hunger, which is a global humanitarian organization whose goal is to end world hunger. So to reach our goal of making a difference towards ending world hunger, what we're doing is selling these t-shirts. And so by selling our goal of 5,000 t-shirts, it'll help treat over 700 children who are suffering from malnutrition. And I mean, I'm not asking each and every one of you to go and purchase 5,000 t-shirts, but by just purchasing one, you'll be able to help purify a child's drinking water for one whole year, which I think is insane. So these t-shirts are $19.99, and when I got mine in the mail, I opened it, and I'm not even kidding you, I probably wore it for like a week and a half straight. I always wear this when I'm filming now, because it's just so comfy and it hangs really nicely. And if you girls are a fan of leggings like me, because there's like no way I'm wearing jeans when I film, no, um, these hit at the perfect spot, like right under your bum. So I'm five foot seven, and it hits at such a nice area that I don't need to feel self-conscious when I'm wearing leggings. So these aren't only super flattering and comfortable to wear, they also purify a child's drinking water for a whole year, which is the most important part. So if you'd like one, go to fighthungerclub.com. And with that being said, let's get started and make our tomato buns. So the dough that I'm using in this recipe is the same dough that I used in my bacon berry recipe that I made last year for Father's Day. So if you'd like to see how to turn these buns into bear shapes, definitely check that video and I'll have it linked at the end of the video and in the description box below. So you wanna follow the bacon bear recipe from steps one to four, and you'll be left with the dough that has already risen and is still in the bowl. So what you wanna do is punch the dough to release the air, and then turn it out onto a floured surface. Then you wanna take about a sixth of the dough and set it aside. Then knead the remaining larger amounts of dough together with a tablespoon of ketchup and some red food coloring. And so the food coloring might take a while to completely disperse through the dough, so you wanna continue kneading and add more food coloring as needed. So it actually required more food coloring than I had expected, but just keep adding it until the dough is completely and evenly colored. And then you just wanna set that aside. Then add some green food coloring to the smaller amount of dough and knead it until it's even in color as well. Then divide both the red and green dough into 10 even pieces. Place these on a floured surface and cover with a damp dish towel and allow these to rise for about 15 minutes. Then working with one bun at a time, flatten each bun into a pancake shape and spoon about one and a half teaspoons of pizza sauce onto the center of the pancake. Add a basil leaf and a few cubes of frozen mozzarella cheese, then close the pancake to create a bun. Then you want to place the buns seam side down and continue with the remaining buns. Then divide each piece of green dough into two large pieces and one smaller piece. Stretch the large pieces into two long strips and then place them on top of each tomato bun to create an X shape. Roll the smaller piece into a ball and place it in the center of the X to create a stem. And using a toothpick, tuck the edges of the green dough underneath themselves to attach them to the bun. Then you want to place these on one or two baking sheets lined with parchment paper and cover once more with a damp towel. Then you want to let these dry for about 20 minutes. Then all you need to do is bake them at 375 degrees for 20 minutes and you're done! So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know if you try this recipe out because they're so delicious. You need to try these out, oh my goodness. And if you're interested in buying a t-shirt, which I totally think you should, I'll have the link in the description box below. And just to let you guys know, I'm not 
earning any money off of this. I'm just doing this because I think it's a really, really awesome cause. And the campaign is running from May 4th to July 3rd. So make sure that you purchase the t-shirt within that time frame and you'll have the t-shirt sent to you when the campaign is closed. So I love you guys so much and I will see you on Thursday for another video. Bye!